down and touch. There we go. Okay. Yep. On the exterior kitchen as well, incredible, incredible resilience. Um, I really can't say enough about these countertops. You get all those benefits, you, they're non-porous, but then they look like a true natural stone. That's really what Sapien Stone Nail is. All of the benefits of no porosity, the benefits of freeze and thaw, the benefits of being able to take a hot pot and put it right on here, spill a glass of wine, uh, the acid from a lemon, nothing is going to touch these countertops, and then it looks like a natural stone. The blend of those two things, form and function, perfect. Super pumped. So how many pieces is it? Three? It's one in the center and two? Okay, gotcha. Awesome. The bottom one is different. The bottom one is up the lower one and this one on the top. Okay, so this stops here. Okay. Over there, you have to here. Okay. Because the other thing that we're doing, we're installing the outdoor kitchen and we have to template that too, so. We have, we've got more, we've got more, we've got to get more. Cool. Super cool. Okay, I go first to the corner. Yep, you're good on the, on the platform. Okay. Hold on. You good on the pipe? Down and touch. There we go. Okay. Yep. What is that? During the design process, I worked a lot in Chief Architect. I rendered out all of these different spaces. Now, it's very difficult to get the materials for the kitchen to look just right uh, because I took the photos myself. But Safety and Stone on their website really has a great representation of their products. So I was able to bring in their materials into Chief Architect and then spray those materials on the countertop, on the countertop, on the backsplash. 
And when you see it in real life and you reference it against the cheap architect rendering, you know, it's, it's pretty remarkable how much you can do these days in 3D design to really get yourself comfortable with your space. So that said, if you're someone who really has a tough time visualizing, make sure you're either working with a designer or an architect who can do 3Ds for you because you can really get comfortable with how this is going to look. Do you need extra hands? Because I'll go get my gloves. Or you're okay, you're better off just the three of you. Yeah, but better. We don't let it touch. Okay. This is fragile. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Oh, I can't f wait to see this. We are excited. So one of the things to notice here, um, these guys use a special piece of software to lay out the sled. So basically because this, because this, because all the veining or what looks like veining is actually printed on the stone, every, every slab is exactly the same. So they're able to use computer program to maximize, number one, maximize the amount of, of the slab you're able to use so you really minimize waste. So you're not paying for things and then having a ton of waste, thereby having your cost go way up. That's number one. But number two, from an aesthetic standpoint, they can lay the slab out so that the veins look like they're continuous, meaning this is one piece, this is a second piece, but they were able to lay the slab out so it looks like it's a continuing vein. Same thing on the other side. So you really get a beautiful representation of the veining across the entire three pieces of stone as opposed to having really mismatched joints. And if you want to get high, just stand right here. <laughs> Come on. Now that is a countertop. And we'll cut it. I have the machine. So you can cut it after it. When we saw we glued everything. So you can cut it after it. But the whole, um, okay. Yeah, let's mark, let's mark it. Because I yeah. think it's safer Perfect. if we cut it before. Safer, yeah. Uh, flash. No way. Yeah, make it even. That was fun. That was fun with flash. Flush on the back? What do we what did we do here? Yeah, look at center? Yes. 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 I flush with this. Flush with this. Oh, put that in? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta run the wire. Run the wire. But we have to put these in so we can put the wire through. 